Hello, this is Amanda Verrett from the Northern Kentucky University Office of Instructional Design and Distance Learning with Mike Lively. This is video four out of eight in which we'll discuss using Pano to QTVR. Pano to QTVR is a program that converts our equal rectangular panoramic photograph into a series of six cubicle projections and vice versa. It can be found at http colon backslash backslash gardengnomesoftware.com. Okay, as you can see, I already have the program open here. Okay, first I'm going to walk us through the program. We just have the free version, so there are limited capabilities in the, in the software. But we can still do what we need to to get our immersive panoramic photographs. Uh, here's a start panel where you upload a project. Here are different project settings, uh, more detailed settings for the individual cubic photographs. Here's some user data that you can attach to your files, and the rest of the tabs you need to of the Pro license in order to use those features. So we'll go back to the Start panel and create a new project. So it's going to create a project file, a folder, and so we're going to want to put that in the same folder that we've put all of our other files in. And again, I'm just going to call this Library Pano. So to set up our base path, uh, we're going to import an equal rectangular photograph and we're going to select the file right here. All right, library pano. And then just click on convert to cubic. I'm going to save them as JPEGs. And that's it. Let's take a look. And here we have a series of six photographs labeled library pano cube zero through five. As you can see, this is our native photograph, and it's no longer distorted, so we'll be able to take this back into Photoshop to finish editing out this bit of the tripod. So this, is, again, makes it especially easy to edit if you have any pattern floors, such as a wood floor or a tile floor. Also, we're going to make our equal, equal rectangular panoramic photograph for the final product can be stretched on the inside of a sphere. You can also do the same type of immersive panoramic photograph with putting the camera on the inside of a cube and to do that you just need these six photographs that we just created and you would be ready to go well along with editing this last bit of the tripod out and that's it for tutorial four in our next tutorial we'll be talking about editing the rest of the neighbor photograph